Hi, Johnny Lynn Harcourt's Pinnacle Ass Billy, video blog number six. Um, so the topic that I want to talk today, talk to you guys about today is as we come towards the end of the year, it's about, you know, getting ready for next year. So my, since, you know, my experience in real estate, I very strongly believe how you start your first quarter of the year, how you start January is the most important thing. So, you know, I'm just going to share a bit of what we're doing. So in the last couple of weeks, all the way through to the Christmas, we're pretty much, you know, hitting it very hard in terms of the marketing. So the first thing that I've, I'll be doing this year is we do it every year, which is called 100, uh, 100 bottles of wine to 100 clients. So what I do is I select 100 appraisals that I've done in the last 12 months, which have not come on the market. And I'll get my PA out there to deliver a bottle of wine to their very doorstep um, before Christmas. Um, saying that as well, you know, for what we're, what we're doing as well is we're pretty much having letterbox drops into my farm area consecutively for the next three weeks all the way through. Um, and as soon as things start back in January, we're going to do another three weeks of consecutive letterbox drops. So it's all about getting as much profile. That's all about, you know, flooding flooding the area as best as we can as well. Um, obviously, we're, like everyone else, we're getting handwritten Christmas cards to, to all our clients. That's very, very important. Um, for me, we're sending Christmas cards not only to past clients um, and current clients, but we're sending it to pretty much everyone on my appraisal list. And what I call appraisal list are people that I've done appraisal for, whether it's in the last year, two years, three years, four years, um, pretty much all get a, a card from me as well. Um, so that's that's a huge start as well. And in terms of listing properties, so pretty much from the last two weeks since, um, I've hardly listed any properties. I think we're listing one this week um, because the owners wanted it to be up on the market. But I'm pretty much holding back all my listings for January 15. Um, so we're preparing a, a, a huge January. We're going to launch a ton of listing in January. So as much as possible, I, I explained to my clients that, guys, we're better off getting all the photos done now, getting ready to go on the market in January, um, and then hit it real hard in January. Because I think that you know it can be a bit detrimental Detrimental to put your property on the market on on the market right now in the, for the simple fact that after the 20th of December um, not much is going to happen um, you know we, we will still be working but not much is going to happen and the property can look still by the time it comes to January as well so look that's my personal thought it's up to you guys what you want to do but we tend to find that the first quarter of every year seems to be the biggest quarter and that's not only for me you know talking to to a lot of the the big agents around the top agents around everyone seems to have January February March as one of their biggest quarter. So look, it's it's not time to relax yet. It's not time to rest on your laurels yet. It's time to, to up the marketing. Yes, we may not have as many appraisals as many contract we're dealing with, but it's time to kick you know kick marketing up to, to a whole new level as well. Um, getting the ready for next year. Um,